and welcome back to Trojan Sports. Now with me is the head baseball coach, Mark Smart. And first off, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Sarah. Um, so how'd you get started um, in baseball? Well, it was a long time ago. Um, started as a youngster. I had two older brothers. We all played. We played everything back then, but baseball was a passion for me probably around 12, 13 years old. Um, played it every spring and summer and, and developed a love for the game. Was a good high school player. Got a chance to play in college. Uh, my last two years I got a chance to play here, uh, which was an awesome experience. And then uh, got a chance to start coaching, uh, which was something that I thought I would enjoy. And now 29 years later I'm still involved in baseball and uh, I don't call it work. I, 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 it's a great job to have because I don't go to work every day. I get to be around baseball. So something I still love uh, with, all, with, with, with great passion and uh, glad to be a part of it. Um, now, when you played at Troy, you got to play for Coach Riddle. So what was it like being able to play for him? It was an incredibly positive experience. Probably one thing that uh, set me up for success as I became an adult I came here as a junior. I played two years of junior college baseball back in Georgia where I grew up. The first time I met Coach Riddle on my recruiting visit, I was um, it was an awesome thing. He was such a powerful presence. He had a way about him that made you feel very special. And so I knew I wanted to play for him for some reason. And then my two years here as a player, he was – uh, such a positive, uh, uplifting person for me to be around. He had a lot of confidence. He gave me a lot of confidence in myself, and I was on two really good teams. I was a good good role player on two really good teams. Learned a lot those two years about myself, grew up a lot, became more responsible as a young adult. Um, but most importantly, he, he had a special way to draw out the best from each player you wanted to give him more. That's just his his nature. And uh, it was a wonderful two-year experience as a player for him. So what is the best memory that you have of him? Um, uh, I, I, my best memory, when I got here in 1986, my first year, Troy had been to the World Series four straight years. And so that was kind of what was expected of Troy, go to the World Series, the Division Two at the time. And like I said, they had been four years in a row and had not won the World Series. They had finished third one year, which is the best they had done. So my first year, we were fortunate to go to the World Series again, and we ended up winning the World Series. And in the moment, I didn't really understand, other than just sheer joy of winning and being a national champion was awesome. But it was shortly after I saw the picture of Coach Riddle up on top of some players' shoulders that had lifted him up after the game. And the smile on his face was just an awesome thing to see because he had been there so many times and had not won it. And it was sheer joy. And when you're around a, an older coach that has been through many, many different things, you never got to see him enjoy everything. He was doing his job and hard work and push, push, push. And for the first time, he could really put a smile on his face. And that picture's in my office. I look at it most every day, and it's still a wonderful thing to think back that I was on the team that gave him his first championship that he so desperately deserved for all the great work he had done through his career. So what is it about baseball that made you want to become a coach? Oh, I don't know. It, it, the game of baseball is the most complex game there is. It's an individualized concept wrapped in a team format, which puts a lot of continuity between working for yourself but being a part of a team. Um, and the game itself has a lot of nuances that the, the casual fan doesn't understand, but every pitch there's a game within a game, the pitcher versus the hitter, the base runners, the alignment of your defense, the flow of the game, the score of the game. There's so many compartments to baseball. It's a thinking man's game, I think. Uh, you, have to, you have to understand different things. I guess that's probably what I enjoy the most, just the, uh, the – not the difficulty of it, but the complexity of it. And it, all that being said, Sarah, it's funny, it's a simple game. You throw the ball over the plate, you catch the ball, you hit the you – know, it's a simple concept, but it's very complex. So I enjoy that part of it. 
Um, and we just talked about it. You played here, won a national championship here. Is that why you decided um, to come coach here? Well, fortunately, when I finished playing my two years, Coach Riddle allowed me as a young coach to be on uh, uh, as a student coach. And as a student coach, you're not really coaching. You're kind of learning. You're helping where you can. I threw a lot of batting practice. I hit fungos. I, I didn't coach very much. But I did get to sit next to him every day and learn. And, boy, did I learn some things sitting next to him. He was a wealth of baseball knowledge. So I did that for two years. And I, I think that's what kind of gave me the itch to stay inv involved in coaching. And, uh, but starting here with him was a blessing. And then I coached for 11 years at, at West Alabama. I was an assistant for five years. I was a head coach for six. I learned quite a bit out on my own, uh, both good and bad, trial and error. And so when Coach Pierce – got the job here at Troy in the summer of 2002 and afforded me the chance to come work for him, it was a very easy decision. Troy had meant so much to me. My wife is a Troy graduate. Uh, the, the opportunity to come back here was something we certainly couldn't pass up and the chance to work with someone like Bobby Pierce who is an excellent coach, a great friend, a wonderful mentor. Uh, it was an easy decision and so glad we made it 16 years ago now. And you get to coach your son, Chase. What has that been like for you? Some good, some bad, Sarah. Um, of course, I love my son. It has nothing to do with baseball. And uh, I'm proud of the, the development he's gone through as a, young, as a young man now. And he's in his third year in the program. And I, I've seen a lot of good and bad. Our relationship, we, it hasn't been great throughout this time. It's the, you know, We've had some high moments and some low moments. It's made me a better coach. I understand things a little differently now that, you know, since he's been on our team the three years I've been the head coach in our third year together. Um, but I, I know this, at the end of the day, through all the ups and downs and the goods and the bads, uh, I'm sure glad that he's on our team because I get to be around him every day. If he was playing at another school, uh, which he had chances to do a lot of different things from a recruiting standpoint, Fortunately, he wanted to stay at home and play for Troy. But if he was playing at any other school, I would never see him play. And the fact that I'm around him every day and get to see him play all the time, that sure makes me happy as a father. Uh, but at the end of the day, when the game starts, I have a job to do to coach our team, not coach my son. And I try to do that the best I can. And this past weekend, you guys swept Arkansas State. How important was it for your team to get those wins? That was a great step for our team, uh, Sarah. It was the first weekend of the second half of our season. Uh, we play a 10 weeks conference schedule. We had finished the first five weeks. I had challenged our team that we needed to play better in the second half. And to start that second half with a three game road series sweep, I was really proud for our team for a lot of reasons. One, we played well. Two, we, we had gone through some adversity. We had a tough win on Friday night. We had to play a doubleheader on Saturday. We got behind in the first game and came back to win that game. Uh, we did some great things in the weekend. And then the other thing that I was proud of is I think it proved to our team that we could do that. We had not swept anybody in conference play yet. So to do that, I think, gives them some confidence and belief. Don't know that we can do it again, but now that we've done it, at least they know, hey, we can do this if we play well. So it was a great way to start the second half and certainly hope it carries over to the rest of our conference season. And Tuesday, um, unfortunately, you lost to Alabama 4-3. to three. Can you kind of talk about that game a little yeah, bit? Yeah, it, it was a disappointing loss. They're all disappointing, trust me. It doesn't matter when, where, what the score is. When you lose, it's not as good. But it was a really good baseball game. Uh, they hit a three-run homer in the first inning and then added another run to go up 4 to nothing. And we just never overcame that. We got beat 4-3. to three. It was a well-played game. Uh, we pitched well after the first inning. We defended great. We didn't get enough offense going. But we had a chance to win the game late. And uh, our, our team, uh, you know, we, we've been a consistent team from game one to game 41 now. We're 41 games in. We've played well throughout that whole stretch. We've been in every single game with a chance to win every game we've played this year, which is not common. That uh, Every now and again you get whipped in the game of baseball, and that hasn't happened to our team. We got behind early. We didn't panic. We stayed the course and we had a chance to win there at the end of the game. So those characteristics our team has shown, will it'll always pay off over the course of a long season. Baseball is a long season, 56 games, 14 weeks. It's a marathon. 
We're getting close to the finish line. Now it's become more of a sprint at the end. Uh, but our team has accomplished some really good things, and I feel very confident that down the stretch we will continue to play well. And this weekend you host UT Arlington. What do you have to do in those games to maybe get another sweep? Well, <clears throat> we'll start with trying to win Friday night's game. And uh, the interesting thing about UT Arlington, Sarah, we're, we're right there in the standings neck and neck. I think we may be one game in front of them in the standings as we sit here today with a month left. We've never won a series with UT Arlington. They've been in the Sun Belt Conference now four years, and they've won every series for four straight years. They've never swept us. They've won two out of three every time. We've played them twice in the tournament, and they've beaten us both times. We haven't had success against this team. So we've been talking about this series for a long time because I've made it very clear to our team that this is a series we need to win. We've never beat this team, so we need to clear that hurdle. Um, so if we can play well and get game one, then that gives us a chance to start talking about winning the series on Saturday. Uh, so we'll have our hands full. They're a good team. They're very much similar to our team. They're a good pitching staff. They catch the ball. They swing the bats well. It'll be a very evenly matched series, and we'll have to play well to win. I mean, how do you get your team to put the Alabama loss behind them to focus on this weekend? I, that's a great question, and, and I'll answer it this way, because anytime you lose, you, you, you run you, – you, as a coach, you're always concerned how your team's going to respond because a loss stops them. We had a five-game winning streak, and it played awfully well over that stretch last week. So we start this week with a loss. But what I, what I do know about our team, and this as a coach, this makes me feel very confident – and really relaxes me in the concept of where our team is. Nothing phases this team. We're an older team. We show a lot of maturity. I don't think it'll be a setback at all. We'll get back to work Wednesday and Thursday and get ready to practice. Uh, we'll go through two days of work to get ready for Arlington. I, I feel like our team, and they've done it all the way through this point, and I don't think we'll start now hitting the panic button or not being prepared. Uh, so I'm confident that we'll be able to deal with that loss properly, Learn from it. Let's try to get better. That's our daily goal, learn and get better, and to get ready to play this weekend. All right, now a few fun questions. Oh, boy. Um, when you have free time, what do you like to do? Free time. <laughs> <laughs> this time of year, there's not much of it. Um, first and foremost, my family, my wife, who's wonderful. We've been married 26, uh, 7, 27 now. Uh, it'll be 28 this summer. Uh, spending time with her. I've got my daughter, of course, coaches here. She's a little bit older than my son. So spending some time with them, the fact that I get to be with my son every day is a good thing, but not much my daughter and wife. Uh, I, you know, I, I love to play golf. I don't get to play very often, but I do enjoy playing golf. But uh, mainly when, when the season's over, Sarah, th there's some time just to kind of wind down. I don't really have to go do a lot of things, but – Baseball is such a mentally exhausting game, and this season started in September. We didn't start playing until February, but it really started in September in the fall, working through all the way to get ready for this season. So the month of June is a nice quiet time. Okay, and what is your best memory that you have playing at Riddle Pace Field? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. Um I, probably, one of the funniest things in my career, I got a chance to play with some really good players, and we experienced so much success those two years. We won most every game we played at Riddle Pace Field, to be honest with you. Uh, but I was a second baseman that w had was no threat as a hitter from a power standpoint. I, 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 I hit four home runs in four years of college, so I didn't hit many home runs. Never would. Uh, but I had a really good junior year swinging the bat, and we had a really powerful team that year. Not, not for me, but for <laughs> my other guys. So in the regional tournament that year, we were playing a team, Sam Houston State out of Texas, who was really good. And uh, I came up in about the sixth or seventh inning of that game. It was two outs, runner at second, and it was a right-handed pitcher on the mound, and I'm, I'm a left-handed hitter, and they intentionally walked me. When, but the intentional walk is usually reserved for big power hitters that can do damage. But, and I was not that way, of course, and they intentionally walked me. And the reason I bring that up, I've got a picture that I always laugh at when I see it. My mother, of all things, took the picture 
of that particular play where the kid, they, they stick their arm out before they step out and catch the intentionally thrown ball. So me, little old hundred and nothing pound punch and Judy hitter got intentionally walked in a regional game uh, at Troy. So I'm not even sure Wendell Stevens got intentionally walked that year, and he was the big power hitter. So that was a fun memory. But listen, I had so many positive things happen to me in those two years here. It was really remarkable. I've got lifelong friends from those teams. We stay in constant communication. Uh, I had the, the, the wonderful fortune of being around Coach Riddle. And then coming back when I did in 2002, I was able to spend more time with him, which he, he passed away several years ago. So Troy is, is a, a big part of my life, and I'm really proud of my time here. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you, me Sarah. today, and best of luck in the rest of your season. Good luck to you. Thank you. Stay tuned for what's coming up in Trojan Sports right after this.